Hello everyone and welcome back to Shri FC. I hope you all are well and good and it's time to preview Liverpool vs Bournemouth guys. Please do hit the like and subscribe. Each support means a lot. And starting off first of all with the home team at Anfield, Liverpool. Last week Liverpool went to uh, Chelsea, Stamford Bridge and got a draw. Not the worst result. They started the game very well. They could have been 2 or 3-0 up. But after that you can say Chelsea was a better team and in the end the draw was a fair result. You go towards Bournemouth, they had a draw against West Ham 1-1. And they had a lot of possession, but again, you cannot see a lot of chances. It was a good match, and boom, were nicely developing under the new manager. And they are a team everybody really goes and really downplays, but they always found a way to get a result, and they were very good last season. And this is under different manager. I don't expect different. They have good young players, and they will be a good team this season as well. So coming on, first of all, to the last season meeting between the both sides. Before we go on to the injury news, last season Liverpool beat them 9-0 at Anfield, which led to Scott Parker sacking. And sometimes we all react too much to a bad defeat, but Bournemouth took it on a good way. They bounced back. Everybody was saying, ah, Bournemouth is really guilty. They're done, including me. But they stayed up. They did a fantastic job. And then they went for Gary O'Neill, did a fantastic job. And later in the season, beat Liverpool. So Liverpool will be careful about Bournemouth. So coming on to injury news, first of all, to the home team, Liverpool. Thiago Elgantara is back in training. So that is good for Liverpool fans as well. You want him back in training. But I think right now he won't really be available to start the game. Klopp will slowly manage his fitness. Curtis Jones and McTay were not in training on Wednesday, but I think again nobody knows it's an injury or they were going on some personal sessions, so nobody knows about that. But I think they might not start this game to be honest with uh, Liverpool going attacking for me in this game. And along with that in Liverpool, Bachkete is sadly the young boy is not available for this game. He's still out and he's sadly injured right now. And coming on to the away team, Bournemouth, they have no Utara for this game, a very good player. Tavernier is a massive miss and Louis Cook is a doubt for this game. So coming on to the level 11 for both the sides. First of all, going to the Liverpool uh, home team here. I think we always going to be Alisson, one of the best keepers, or you can say the best keeper in the league. A fantastic player. You go to Trent at the right, drop us in at the left. I still believe they'll go with the four, and in between, Trent will come in the midfield. You've got Van Dijk and Konate, and if they stay fit, Liverpool can really do massive this season. These two, on paper, still are one of the top centre backs in the league, but it's just about the fitness. And the midfield, sadly, till now they've not got players, but they're going for Czech Dukure. So I think hopefully they will have the midfield sorted by the end of the window, but right now they will have to go with Matt Alistair, Schloss by and Gakpo, and they will know. Bournemouth is a game at home, they have to score more, they'll try to make a statement here. So I think they'll go attacking with Matt Alistair, Slough by, I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong, really sorry, but a very good player. And then Cody Gakpo as well, but Cody Gakpo might be a bit up top now because against Chelsea was ineffective because sadly he's still not a proper uh, centre midfielder and Enzo Fernandes and Conor Gallagher field day there. So this is a match where he will try to be more attacking and we know Gakpo at his best is a very top player. And then Mo Salah, the guy again pulled off one of the best assists you will see. That was just beautiful what Mo Salah can do. And he's still one of the top footballers in the league. Luis Diaz is so good to see the boy back last year. He missed a lot of to do injuries. Such a talented player. So good to see. Got a goal and is a very dangerous player on his day. And then you've got the striker Diego Jota. Very clever player. A player you can always bank on getting a lot of goals. And he had a bad run last season. But they broke it and he kept on scoring goal after goal in the last phase of the season. And you come to Bournemouth. They're going to go with the goalkeeper Neto who has really performed well for me for Bournemouth. Max Ahrens, former Norwood City player. They're going to be Kirkus left, Zabani and Senesi, the two centre-backs, building a player who really goes under the radar but really played well last season and he's a very, very good player. So Liverpool midfield will need to handle him well, Rothwell and then Brooks, it's so good to see him back, Christie, Anthony and the striker Solanke, they're missing Utara but I think Solanke, former Liverpool player and we all know Solanke is a player, he might not be a granted goal scorer but the guy can cause a lot of danger and still a fine striker on his day. So I think he's still a fine team, can trouble Liverpool but to be honest, the quality of Liverpool is still too much. Is at Anfield, first of all, the crowd and the pump, and it will be difficult for Bournemouth to handle that. And then you've got Mohamed Salah to handle, you've got Diego Jota, Diaz. So I think it's just going to be too strong. I think it, no way in way it's going to be the 9 0 it uh, was last year. Bournemouth are a much better team, but I think it's going to be 3 1 Liverpool. I believe in Liverpool midfield still not sorted. Solanke, you're building your Anthony, your Christie, and they will, Brooks will take advantage and get a goal. But I think Mohamed Salah, Diaz, Kakbo Jota, they'll get three goals, and I think it will be Liverpool 3. Bone with one, a good victory for Liverpool, and slowly they'll march on before the coming big match against Newcastle after that. So this was my prediction. This was my preview for the game. Hopefully, people enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Hopefully, you all have a great day. Thank you.